Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be doing a game as France, and in this game we're going to be doing a bit of a meme build. Let's just load in and I'll explain what I'm going to be doing. Iron Man mode, historical AI focuses, and we will just call this the France meme build. So what we're going to be doing as France is we're going to be staying democratic, but we're only going to be using light tanks. Now what is a light tank division? Well, a light tank division is going to be any division the game considers to be a tank. So this is still a tank. Whatever this default symbol is, if I add even more motorized, it's still a tank until this point. Now it's no longer a tank. I'm highly unlikely to actually use this design, but this is what's going to count as a tank division. Now this is going to cause a number of problems. We can't exactly send volunteers to Spain. We're only allowed tank divisions. And and France is the worst country in the game for generating army experience. This is going to be especially hard because we have the lowest fuel gain of any country in the world. Zero. No country can be less than us. Even Germany gets four oil. To start off with focuses wise, I am going to do revive the nationalist block. Laissez faire is great, and we can immediately turn around and ban communism. And we don't have to eat a 5% consumer goods factories over here, which is just really bad. Oh, and it also gives political power gain. Just a little bit, but you know, every little bit counts as France. Start off with we do not have to do tank research. We start with 1936 light tanks. So we're good in that regard. So we're going to do electronic, mechanical computing, basic machine tools, and construction one. I am planning on not capitulating. Hopefully that works. So we can build wherever we want. I'm going to build civs up here in the north. Factories. We're going to need a little bit of guns, a little bit of support equipment, a little bit of towed artillery, and a little bit of AA. We're good on trains, actually, so we don't need any of that. We do need trucks. We do need light tanks. I'm going to up the production of both those. We're not going to build any air because we are going to join the Allies, and we're going to hope that the UK builds us enough air. They won't, but a boy can hope. Merge up the Navy. I want to merge them on. We are not going to do a spy agency. We cannot do a collaboration government. Well, not yet. We'll do one a little bit later on, just for a little bit of spy defense. I always forget about Navy. Uh, Dunkirk and Richelieu suck. Don't bother. We will finish the destroyers. Destroyers are worthless. The submarines. How good are the submarines? Eh, I've seen worse. They're not bad. We're going to delete the early sub holes though. And we're going to train the Navy just a little bit so that we can create ourselves a destroyer for the purpose of convoy escorting. We'll let Britain deal with the actual naval stuff. So with this 11 naval experience, we're going to put a single torpedo on it. A single light battery, and we do not have sonar. Okay, since we don't have sonar, we're not going to put on torpedoes, and we'll just put on a single depth charge. And we're just going to produce this, and okay, revive the nationalist block is done. We're not going to do militarize the Rhineland. Obviously, we deleted our army. We're just going to issue the objection, and I'm going to go ban communism. Why? I need to delay. I want to have started 1937 tech when I get the boost from laissez faire. We're going to delay two focuses. Ban communism and devalue the franc. I'm going to do devalue the franc second. I don't think it actually ends up mattering either way. So with electronic mechanical engineering done, we are not going to research anything temporarily. We are going to tech juggle into basic machine tools. We're not going to get a full tech juggle out of it, but we can get a partial tech juggle out of it. So you want to make sure that between the day saved here and how much time left there, there's one extra day. So I actually paused the day too late. There's 23 days here, 23 days there. We would have wanted it yesterday, actually, but this is fine. We're going to take basic machine tools. We're going to put it on mechanical computing. We're going to put this one on basic machine tools. So we did actually just waste one day, but that's fine. Now let's go into dispersed industry and we'll switch mechanical computing to improved machine tools. So with band communism done, we will now go and devalue the franc. We need to delay one more focus before we can do laissez-faire. When construction one finishes, we are just going to sit on this research slot. We are going to tech juggle it into dispersed one. We need to finish it just a little bit faster. The value of the franc is done in 10 days, and this is done in 107, which is 70 plus 30 plus 7. So if we tech juggle in 30 days, we will finish it and be able to go immediately on to laissez-faire. Because we don't have an army, there's no point in stopping and, do the inter and doing the intervention in Spain. But now we'll do laissez-faire. So dispersed one will now go on to construction two and the empty slot onto dispersed one 58 days versus 62. So we aren't going to have to use any of those boosts on the 1937 tech which is perfect. Okay dispersed one is now done onto dispersed two and we're going to do protect the rights of man straight down to straight down to strengthen the government. We need to start getting that weekly stability and we need to get rid of disjointed government altogether. As nice as these are, we just don't have time to do them unfortunately. Oh and I feel like I should mention now don't forget to go to local autonomy. Okay, improved machine tools is done and it's going to finish just as we finish protect the rights of man which is great timing for me we're going to go immediately onto advanced machine tools use that 150 percent bonus 
And then with protect the rights of man finishing, we're going to go on to review foreign policy. The 120 political power will be very nice because uh, we don't get much. Our first buy is going to be the silent workhorse. As long as the silent workhorse takes to pay off, right now getting the silent workhorse would double our daily gain, which is immensely powerful. It is also around this time you can start training your army. You're actually finally going to start getting the experience from the one division exploit, which is part of the reason why France is the worst country in the game to generate army experience as. So a bunch of things are going to happen at the same time here. We can get our silent workhorse, which is great. And then here, this will allow us to send equipment to Spain. But sending equipment to Spain doesn't do anything because you basically don't get any army experience from Lendlease anymore. And we don't even get that base war support, that's Spanish base war support. So there's no point in doing this. Just entirely worthless. Now with the 120 political power from review foreign policy, it might make sense to get one of these guys. The problem is they all suck. Cavalry's worthless. That only applies to cavalry, not to tanks, not to motorized. Ace generation doesn't matter. We don't have an air force. That would require the British to form an air force. That literally doesn't do anything. Navy doesn't matter. And we're not going to use special forces. So I guess what we can do... We are just going to sit on this and we're going to wait for China to start. And when China starts, we're going to send them an attache. Actually, I think we can get the army logistics guy and still have the command power and the political power for China. So that's what we're going to do. Plus, we'd prefer one of these guys over one of these guys. We are not going to continue on the construction too. We have better things to research. Most importantly is the close support gun. So there we go. We're actually at the full amount. End of March. Beginning of April. So now let's do some math. I think I'm going to have to pull up Google for this. So April 1st, 1937 to January 1st, 1939 is 640 days. We'll get 12.6 extra army experience if we were to make this a full 50 width. That's actually not worth it because the army experience is worth a lot to us right now. The faster we can get relief of command, the better. So actually, I would argue against adding that one infantry I just did. I should have done the math before I added it. Okay, disperse two is done. We will continue on to disperse three. Okay, buy time's done. Let's do strengthen the government. What we will do is construct two in each of these states. You want to hit about 50, five of which are from exports. Yeah, that's good. And because those events are firing, we're getting all of the Chinese United Front events. So it's now time we should to improve relations with China. They hate us because we own cores. But that attache should generate us a bunch of army experience. Okay, Japan declaring war in China and strength the government finishing. Let's send the attache in like two days. There's no point in doing go with Britain yet. It is not necessary. We can, however, begin rearmament. Okay, we can send the attache. We should now start getting a good amount from them. Uh, we now need the basic high velocity cannon. Now that we have the close support gun, we can design the improved light tank we want. We get the close support gun, three man turret. We're going to leave on riveted armor. We're going to put on a basic radio. So this is the design we're going to go with. 604 armor. Bogey suspension. Wheeled suspension gives us reduced hardness, so that's not good. And these guys cost a lot. Adding 0.8 to the cost of this is actually quite a significant increase, so we don't want to do that. And we're not going to put on additional machine guns because they're actually quite expensive. They do make our tank much better stat-wise, but I don't think we can afford the cost. It's going to cost us an extra 1.2 IC per tank. I don't think we can afford that. Let's just give it a little close support gun. That's the design we're going to go with. This is a very French design, if we're going to be honest. Let's put that in here. So beginning rearmament's done. Nah, we're still going to say no. Okay, so with these free factories, I'm going to put two on a second line of light tanks, and then I'm going to put four on another line. This line is going to be for our light TDs when we get the basic high velocity can. And for our next focus, we're actually going to do the freedom front. And right now, we are actually just going to stockpile our little power. Whenever Germany does Anschluss, which should be this focus or next, we will be able to go to partial mode. And at this point, you should just be finishing up that last sieve and then all mills from here on out. Okay, with advanced machine tools done, we are actually just going to go on straight to assembly line production. That will finish just after the beginning of 39, which is actually completely worthwhile. We need that production efficiency cap. Okay, Freedom Front is done. We're going to do stimulate the dynamic market. This gives us another 10% production efficiency cap, and it gives us efficiency growth, both of which are great. And we are now at 25% more support, so we can go to partial mode. This is going to unlock our economy quite a bit, and that was a 40% swing in our military factory construction speed. I'm going to put one more on to truck and then everything else on to light tanks we'll go one and then just 10 and then i'll reassess at that point anti-tank research is done we're going to do mechanical computing yugoslavia requests sale of air 
planes, do we want to increase fighter production cost or bomber production cost? Well, let me just check. Oh, wait, we're producing neither. Here, you can have some fake bombers. They're actually cheap cardboard mock-ups. Let's go design that French tank destroyer. Okay, we are going to go basic high-velocity cannon, designate it a tank destroyer, and go... That penalty is not nearly as bad as I thought it was. I swear that penalty used to be worse. We are going to go for wheel suspension, make these guys even cheaper. So now we got a couple questions. Let's say, let's slap on a small cannon to start with. Good amount of soft attack and hard attack. Now, do we go with a light fixed superstructure? Or are we even crazier? One man turret is the cheapest and it does not give a penalty to our softer hard attack. It does also give seven breakthrough, but no defense. I think we just go like this. What is the base speed of this? Seven? I think we go like this. We can get it down to 5.9. This is going to be our light tank destroyer and we'll give it the slightly longer barrel. And then this is going to go into this slot. Three on this, ten on that. That should give us one or two per division. Okay, dispersed three is done. We're going to keep doing these anti-tank upgrades. If we could get to the improved medium cannon, that would actually be really good. Either way, we'll get 15% heart attack and 20% piercing just from doing this. Okay, Anschluss is done. Now is a good time to do these two on the right here. And then after that, we can do defensive stratagems. Okay, we have 40 army experience. We're going to get relief of command. The extra army experience gain should be quite nice. And on top of that, it's going to make our advisors cheaper. All right, so we've hit 20. That's time to reassess. And I think I want a little bit more A, a little bit more towed artillery, and maybe a little bit more support equipment. I don't know. I might actually need more infantry equipment too, just for the motorized infantry. For a 20 with here. So for 100, we need 50,000. We'll probably hit that, but I think we're going to go up to two on infantry equipment. And then five, and then everything else on light tanks. 150 political power. What to do, what to do. I think war industrialists make sense. So now that we've finished promote entrepreneurship, defense strengthening the government is going to finish in two weeks. So I'm just going to not select a focus and wait for that. And that's actually Germany justifying on Czechoslovakia. We're going to let them fall. Strengthen the government has run its course, so let's do defensive stratagem. And then after that, we have the great debate. Defense or offense? It is a debate. It's quite the debate. Honestly, let's just have the debate while the game's running. So defensive focus allows you to come down here and do methodical battle, which gives you two 65% cost reductions for land doctrine, which gives you a total of four cost reductions for land doctrine. Aggressive focus gives us 40 army experience, a bunch of bonuses that don't matter to us, a small production reduction in trucks, and Charles de Gaulle, which gives us a reduction in mobile warfare cost. Like as useless as everything is below here, that 65% cost reduction is so tempting. I want to do it so bad. And okay, mechanical computing is done. We'll continue on to computing machine. Like just, I want to do it so bad. With this dude here, that's going to be a 25 army experience doctrine. Which means right now we'd be able to do two doctrines once we got rid of army reform. Like that's so good. Division defense also gives us breakthrough which is the thing we're going to be lacking on our light tanks compared to if we were using medium tanks. We're going to have the same soft attack. We're going to have the same hard attack because we're going to be using the same guns. This will end up saving us 130 army experience. This will give us 40. So we're going to net ourselves 80 army experience going down the useless path. In exchange for research bonuses, I don't think we're going to use. And the truck production cost, and I don't care about the speed. We're going to do it. We're going to betray the checks. And then we're going to go for a defensive focus. Oh, also, we're going to appoint the commando guy. Just get the extra army experience gain. We probably should have done that about 40 political power ago. Okay, defensive strategy is done. We are going to do defensive focus. I don't know if I left in all the rambling I did about the decision-making process. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But I'm actually going to go up to six on light tank divisions. And I'm getting a little worried, so I'm going to go up to five on trucks. I didn't test build this. This is the test build technically. And if it works, it'll become the final build. If it doesn't work, well, obviously you'll never see this. A defensive focus, we're going to do methodical battle. And then I completely missed doing that. I guess then we might as well just go for the cavalry expert, get the army experience. Now, at some point in time, we are going to have to build a supply hub here, but we want to build as late as possible. Okay, let's finish this mill, and then let's see, is building it now good timing? Starting January 1st, 1939, is that good timing? We want this to finish in September. Uh, let's build two more mills first, and then we'll build it. Yeah, that'll have us start it in April. We are also at the point where we're going to want to start deploying our army soon. And to do that, we're going to actually spam out these 12 widths, and then we'll convert them to a division. And we should start 
doing these techs because they'll boost our motorized in our division so that'll be good but first actually we're going to go for engineer companies we're going to get the infantry weapons and equipment research speed all of this research still benefits us so it makes sense to do okay it's the beginning of march we can't really afford to push this any longer uh let's just delete this division and we're going to spam out as many of these as we can as quickly as we can because when we convert them to tanks they're not going to keep their experience anyways as for tank design, I think engineer, support artillery, support AA. I think I'm going to make a 16 with holding division, which is technically a tank. It says it's a tank, so we're going to consider this a tank. We're going to save this design, then we're going to duplicate it, and we're going to add we're going to add two light tanks and a light tank destroyer. And we'll start there. We might increase this even larger. We might not. And let's just get rid of every other design. So we've got the technically a tank tank, and the definitely a tank tank and we're going to give these guys the combined arm symbol because you know appropriate okay computing machine is done we need radio okay let's drop these guys out and we're going to spam as many more as we can still only 17 but that's fine we're going to convert these to the technically a tank tank division set these guys up along the maginot and then once they get their manpower we'll train them up a little bit okay these guys can now be deployed and we can deploy 33 more we're going to manually micro everybody in the north, and hopefully we can just hold Italy in the south. Seems like we overproduce artillery. Let's take that down a notch, and support equipment. Let's take that down a notch, but we're going to put it on infantry equipment. By the looks of it, we're going to run it at infantry equipment and uh, motorize. Okay, let's deploy these guys. For 67, 23 more puts us at 90. That's decent enough. Controversial pick. We are actually going to use Maximine here. He's actually decently good enough we can give him unyielding defender and he will do okay we have enough political power let's select the military theorist and then i think we'll just bank this so that we can go to total mob or at least war economy when the war kicks off so we added a bunch of forts to savoy we're going to extend the maginot this will finish just after danziger war and then we'll have to wait one more for army reform okay we can drop the remaining of our brigades these are going to have to do we will convert them when we have equipment but not before and now's as good a time as any to try and train our army up just to get close to that next experience level. Might have wanted to go for maintenance companies here, but I don't think we can afford them. Okay, there's Danziger War. I did not join the Allies. That's fine. Once I do army reform, I'll do go with Britain. We can do war propaganda against Germany. I said we were going to join the Allies. I never said when we were going to join the Allies. Ooh, I just realized these technically a tank tanks are not going to be able to pierce. We did underproduce light tank destroyers. Okay, let's add that upper production and we'll catch up if we catch up if we don't we'll die so the goal of this is we are going to be so far from a supply hub for them that they're not going to have any supply so they're not going to have any stats okay they i expected that to hit 80 if i'm going to be honest you know i don't think you need a staff office plan when you're not even at war with me if i'm going to be honest what if we swap that to a light tank? I think we'll actually be able to afford that better. And then maybe we grab you guys and switch you to definitely a tank tanks. Are we actually going to have to do the focus to go with Britain? I was really hoping to just, you know, skip that. They're not justifying on us. We're kind of just staring at each other. So I guess we're going to have to do the focus. I mean, at this point, we're going to go for the humble peter. We're going to have infinite war support. Yeah, we're going to have an extra 30% from being in a defensive war. Controversial opinion. I think it might make sense to just stick with grand battle plan because max planning bonus is huge and we do get army breakthrough and soft attack and we're not going to get all the breakthroughs but we will get max planning planning does improve our tanks breakthrough so i think we're going to stick with grand battle plan and we're definitely going to go left i think because we get another 10 percent breakthrough on the left and we don't really care about uh supply consumption and we can get all the way down to overwhelming firepower that's actually really nice honestly this isn't even cheesing the game. This is just enforcing the phony war, if I'm going to be honest. And we might want to start building a little bit of anti-air. There's Denmark. Okay, it's actually a smart idea to join this faction now. We have Org. Let's go down to speed four. We're going to join the war. And then I'm going to attack into here with this division. See if we can't make an encirclement to, to Ghent. They're willing to send us stuff. Great. We'll take them. They are not piercing our light tanks with 10 armor. That's good news. We keep going. Can we get to Brussels or are we going to run out of fuel? We're going to run out of fuel. Move one tile, no fuel. Retreat back to the line. Then. Okay, and are we going to hold this? Maybe? Yes. I think our entrenchment's going to win. And then after a little bit of battle, we'll actually end up with a really high experience. 
Oh, um, let's move to here. Excuse me, now I clicked there. Okay, well, we're holding at least. We can't pierce that with its 37 armor. We only have 30 piercing, that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. It's because of lack of equipment. I don't know why they're choosing to attack here across the river, but working to our benefit at the moment. How are we doing? We've lost way more equipment than them. They're just not taking losses. Italians are going to have a go attacking into mountains when they can't pierce me reliably. Should have done this a little while ago, but let's go to total mob. Woman in the workforce. Honestly, we could pair war bonds. Let's pair war bonds with improved worker condition. The longer we hold, the more divisions the UK should be willing to send us. How are we doing, Gaulle? That is so weird. You've gained zero experience. I wonder if the game considers it over its his unit cap. Because he's gained literally zero XP. If that is the case, let's grab all of the divisions here. Split you off. And give you another general. We're going to do both invest in Algeria and France and invest in Metropolis in France. It'll count for this purpose. So that'll give us four civs rather than two. Okay, we can up the amount of tanks in the definitely a tank tank. I think we should do that. I think we're going to build that towards a 28 width division. We're going to try a push here. So this is where having gone up to the 9 on our tank armor would have been useful. We would have been unpierceable. However, we would have not been able to get nearly as many tanks. Let's see, can we reinforce me in them? No, we cannot. Let's pause that. We're, we're out of planning bonus. And I think right now we are waiting for enough light tanks to convert these to definitely tank tanks. I'll do it right now. But we're definitely seeing a stalemate position. An attack here, and then how many are we over? Quite a bit. Let's drop off these three. See if we can't just blast through here. Oh yeah, that went quite well. And then up towards here. Of course we pick shock. Why wouldn't we pick shock? Okay, them attacking us is not a bad thing. We have more breakthrough than we do defense, but still, they have way less breakthrough than defense. So them attacking us is not a bad thing. Uh, let's grab you three and pull you back here. Just because this will not hold without help. The rest should hold though. Let's pull back on both sides. They did force attack us, which is going to cost them a lot of equipment. Where you guys immediately back in. We have insane amounts of enemy air superiority over us right now. Hey, UK, where the hell's your air force? Oh, they broke that. That's unfortunate. Let's immediately attack back in. They'll move in piecemeal, which will mean we'll get to do a lot of damage to them in the initial part of that battle. And we'll move these guys over here, and then we'll also attack back in. We are going to take combined arms expert. Alrighty, let's continue on working these guys up to a 28 width. We're missing the light tank destroyers to do that. What if we went with a 50-50 split? We're good on a 50-50 split, so let's do a 50-50 split. While the continued attacking is annoying, them attacking piecemeal like this takes causes them to take so much strength damage. Actually super good for us. Let's see if we can attack here with these guys. They're going to immediately counterattack us, and now we're not going to have our entrenchment. Okay, let's get our next doctrine, 10% breakthrough and the breakthrough tactic. Which we're actually going to set. We can change it later, but Breakthrough is a really good tactic for us. How are we doing on combat losses? I think they're still losing more than us. If we go back about 9 months, they've lost quite a bit more than us. Especially when we consider our, our recovery. Interesting thing is, we are actually recovering British rifles. And if we went and looked for them, we would find them. Alrighty, it's probably high time we get the advanced light tank chassis, considering we are doing a light tank build. And now that we have the improved medium cannon, I am going to go up to the improved medium cannon, and I'm going to switch to the light superstructure. And I think we can afford to slap a whole bunch of additional machine guns on our light TD. Just a substantial increase in everything other than the hard attack. Yet this should be fine. Put that into production. I don't get why we're doing so poorly on the defensive. This makes no sense. Okay, I'm going to do the British a favor over here, and we're going to build... A port. I think we just have to keep attacking this spot. This is this is a really good trade for us. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Let's grab half of you guys pin here. Perfect. Okay, liquidate that. We're attacking here, they can't attack us, and we're better on the offensive than on the de defensive because we get to keep the planning bonus. It'll degrade over time, but we get to keep some of it. Taking out a little bit, a good amount of casualties. But they're going to respond by trying to attack us in the mountains here, but they have no stats. We're safe there. 
Okay, they're going to full frontal assault us here, which is fine. They're just going to bleed manpower and equipment. You know what? I'm going to give in, and I'm finally going to build a railway gun. Getting pushed back here is actually entirely fine, because then we can make the exact same maneuver we did across two planes tiles. Okay, China, we're going to need our attache back. Because even with a staff office plan, this is going to take seven days to get up to full planning bonus. The power and drawbacks of using Grand Battle Plan. I want to wait for these guys to attack again. Hopefully we get the ones that are in combat in here. And we just reinforce me them. Like that. Now we're going to send half you guys over here. And attack here. And you guys attack here, not you. Now they are fighting on a separate front, we can take three of you guys here, three of you guys here. If we can't encircle Brussels. Getting this province, we did get that province. We got both provinces, so Brussels is dead. Can't attack straight into there. This is across a river? What? We're clearly both on the east side of this river. Okay, you guys push up here, then you guys push up there. You guys push up here. Yeah, that minus 39% is why I started a spy network. So we're getting 93 here, but here, in this state, we're getting minus 57%. Um, that's clearly bugged. If we're getting 57, we should definitely be getting 57 here, not 0.5. Because if we put the spy network here, we actually build it up for a second. Yeah, it's clearly supposed to be percent max entrenchment, not already. I'll be right back. Let me go submit a bug report. Oh, nice. He finally got it. Um, let's give him combined arms expert. And we can make him a combined arms expert as an advisor and swap out the special forces attack. Okay, uh, we're one day from the advanced light tank. So let's check all of these guys to automatically upgrade. Okay, advanced light tank destroyer. Is there anything else we'd like to put on it instead? That's good enough. And then the advanced light tank chassis. We're now going to actually start having a bit of armor. I, th I think we can now maybe afford to start adding a couple of additional machine guns on here and maybe even interleaved road wheels. Yeah, I think we can actually afford this now. We're going to drop that in here. Already, I guess the uh, hard coding of the AI has uh, run its course. During the initial invasion of France, the AI is not supposed to help you. It's too dangerous. The UK might lose its entire army, so they're just not supposed to help at all. I'm just going to take the river line here. I'm going to work to take the river line here. I was trying to get this encirclement, but it's just not going to happen. All right, let's make a push to whatever river this is. It's not the Rhine. Yeah, this goes. If we can get to Rotterdam, they have a railway gun here. If it doesn't flee. River line is established. Let's see if we can't get through there. Okay, good. He is now a Panzer expert as well. We can give him armor specialist. And then we can swap out cavalry, dude. Both 5% bonuses are way better than anything he's given. Oh, we're actually going to be able to break the river here. Hold on. That was very unexpected. We can break this way too. I mean, technically that's still a river crossing, but... You guys in here we can just walk in here with these guys one it's one province but it's it's enough it allows me to pull off all 15 of my proper tank divisions and put them down south already we have a railway gun and of course we're going to put railway guns into production let's make this push now that we have planning bonus already we're slowly deorging them they're going to get reinforcements but the reinforcements are going to have very little org so as long as we keep cycle attacking here it should be in very good shape this is looking like it's going to be it there we go now let's push. Hard, fast. Need to make it to Milan before they do. If taking Genoa will be good for us as a supply hub. We can also attack this direction. Or a minor encirclement in the middle here. Cross the river, cross the river. Anywhere you can get across the river, cross the river. My god, they're reinforcing instantly.
we have Rome, we should have pulled back here, it does not matter. Ready, nice, we got an overrun there. Let's see if we can't cut across to Naples while taking Anzo here. You can support attack that. I figured out why I was running out of light tanks. I'd accidentally swapped both to the light tank destroyer. I was running out because I wasn't producing any. Evasion is planned. Let's see how this goes. There are divisions on this port. They definitely have better stats than us. But there's nothing on this port. As long as once we land, we attack here, we are good. Come on, you can take it, I believe. Actually, just stop that. Have them come here. You have lower orc, so I think I can break this easier. I will need to take Milan though. Technically a tank tank, you can actually all have an extra light tank destroyer. Okay, one final push to break them with the support of our new fancy railway gun. That is so worthless. The plus 5% there takes you from 10 to 10.5. I assumed that was additive and I think everyone else on the planet did too. Now you guys attack here before they move over. Okay, hey, we've broken the river there. You guys pin in here. There we go, encirclement in the center. Two of you guys this way, one of you guys to Venice. I just need Milan now. There we go. They always capture the British, I don't know why. Like it's hard-coded. Do not let them escape. Okay, let's rush these tanks up here. I'm gonna try and get to Munich before the German AI has time to respond. Hopefully we get there and we don't have to fight through these mountains. Meanwhile, over here, we're just finishing up cleaning a pocket. Once we're done, we're going to bring these guys all over to Austria. Okay, pocket eliminated. Time for one last push into Germany. Let's see if we can't walk around these Germans here. See if we can't get to Munich and out of these mountains. Okay, the supply hub finally activated. I know I took this at least nine days ago. So I don't know why it took so long to finally decide to activate. But with the supply hub, we should now be able to make it to Munich. We are still sort of in the mountains, but we've mostly gotten through them. Nice, we finally got our second railway gun. Let's put this up in the Benelux. Let's see if the AI will push if I give them the railway gun support. Let's take these guys and push west. Let's see if we can't encircle those couple of divisions and then start grabbing some supply hubs. Alrighty, we're starting to make a nice little breakout here. Work on cutting off towards the Maginot. While those guys head west, let's take these guys and start pushing east, see if we can't get to Vienna or at least break this river while they're disorganized and not entrenched. Okay, encirclement towards the south here. Leave one up and then we can just use these guys to help try and clear this a bit. I'm a little worried about my ability to actually just truck to Berlin. I just don't really trust the AI to follow, you know? We're going to start a more conservative push north, just start trying to take provinces that they'll let us... We failed to break the river. Either that or assigning them canceled the order and they hadn't walked across yet. One or the other. Every single one of my divisions is currently bugged. It's fine. You can move. Yep. Every single one of my divisions needs to be issued a move order. That's how you get rid of that little exclamation point. You gotta make it recalculate. We're gonna try and circle everything the Germans have west of the Rhine. The Allies, probably the British have done so much logistic bombing, there is no supply anywhere. Every single one of these railways is completely destroyed. Every single one is going, oh, if I move to another province, I don't have supply. Well, you don't have supply in the province you're in either. Dump, just move. I don't care. I need, you need to be, you need to be able to turn that off. I get it. I have no supply from damage. It's fine. This is why you don't logistic strikes. It damages infrastructure, which prevents you from being able to do anything. I don't even have allied supply on. Nice, we've taken Berlin. 
somehow, despite having literally no supply the entire way through freaking Germany. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cap them because I literally can't walk through this province because there's actually zero supply. Already, we took Salzburg, even though it's not giving us any supply. It's alleviated our supply problems. Don't ask me. I don't know. We've taken Vienna. Is that enough? No. Take Dresden. Somebody please take Hamburg sometime this year. Just truck it to Danzig. They will capitulate once we take one of these two provinces. So we've caused them 4 million casualties, taking having taken 350. I don't know it worked. Is it optimal? No, but it worked. I hate those tags. I hate those tags so much. They're so stupid. I'm going to take Sardinia. You know what? Sardinia is mine. And Sicily. So yes, it is possible to do a light tank only build as France and capitulate Germany. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.